<laughs> we have a cute accent. Meet the Vanderlots. The joke is in Oklahoma, everybody got an accent. We have it a little bit more than that's, everybody else. That, that, that's what <laughs> most people say, yeah. Peter and Anita were both born in the Netherlands, but didn't meet until they arrived in the States. We met each other and fell in love and started with 40 cows, a little business together, and the rest is history, so to speak. A history of working together on a dairy farm that goes back to the old country. We both got raised on the, on the dairy farm. We go back a couple of generations in dairy farming, and so it's in our blood, so to speak. That's all we wanted. Typically, the Vanderlands grow all of their own forage. However, even irrigated crops suffered during a drought. Still, selling out is never an option. We still love what we're doing. We, ha we have to keep continuing on. Yes. Working every day with the cattle. Yes, it's, it's still fun. A passion that's necessary when working the hours of a dairy farmer. We milk three times a day, and it takes about six hours to milk them. Sundays, holidays, doesn't matter. We keep going. With so many cows, milking is a long yet precise process that requires a number of employees to maintain clean facilities. Cleanliness on the dairy is very important. You want to produce clean products. So they're in the barn for about seven to eight minutes in the milking facility. They're about seven, eight minutes in there, standing in there, physically milking. That means uh, prepping, we post-dip and we pre-dip. So we start with, with dipping already and then we clean the cows to clean the udders with all clean towels. We do laundry 10, times, 10 loads to 15 loads a day. That's a lot of loads of laundry, but they've kept everything clean, um, clean the udders, and it stimulates also a little bit the brain for the cows, so they let they have the milk down. The oxytocin is going to be released in their brain, so they let the milk down. We attach the milkers, and they're only going to milk for probably for, for four or five minutes, and there's 40 in a row. When they're done, we have automatic takeoffs, so they come automatically, they come off again. We check everything, if their udder is really empty, and then we post it and let them all go. And they go back to their freestyle barns, back to water, back to feed, back to a clean stall. Staying clean and keeping their cattle healthy is a priority on the Vanderlaan farm. The use of sand bedding has shown a lower incidence of clinical mastitis caused by environmental organisms such as E. coli. We're going to see the cows in the freestyle barn. That's where they're housed in. Um, the cows got it pretty comfortable in there. We got sand bedding. Sand is uh, bacteria inhabitant, so we're not going to have much bacteria growth in there. It's also really good for in the summertime. It's cool in the summer, warm in the winter. They have rubber mats to walk on. They don't walk on the concrete. They got rubber mats to eat on. They have special strips for the front legs, back legs, walking areas. And even if we walk on them, we are nuts off that rubber. They like it. It's like we can put sneakers on the cow, so to speak, but we want to make them comfortable so they have rubber mats. And once the milk is left the cow, the work for the Vanderlaans really begins. You want to produce clean products. A clean product is so important. Milk is so important. Milk is the only fluid that's never been touched by human hands. When it arrives on your breakfast table, nobody ever touches it with hands. We want to keep it like that, clean. We won several awards for clean milk, and we're proud of that, very proud of that. And while they may be the second largest dairy operation in Oklahoma, it's still a family affair for the Vanderlaans. We always joke, all our three kids, they have milk in their veins. They don't have blood, they have milk in their veins, because all three are actively in the dairy industry. We start growing and growing, and yeah, the love for the dairy cow is, is, is very deep for us, and yeah, that's what we want to do. Taking care of the cows they've grown so fond of in an industry they love. I love Oklahoma, I really, really do.